on 29th of october microsoft became the world's most valuable company by market capital and if you don't understand this jargon uh, to put it simply if somebody to buy microsoft today the overall value of microsoft on 29th of october was higher than apple's market capitalization so it was 2.47 trillion dollars and to put that in perspective how much money is 2.4 trillion dollars india's gdp which is fifth largest gdp in the world is 2.5 trillion dollars so india's gdp is as big as microsoft market cap or if i can say microsoft market cap is as big as india's gdp and the way they are growing they can become a 5 trillion economy probably in next 2 years even if india does not become a 5 trillion economy or unlikely to become a 5 trillion dollar economy by 2024 So how much money is 1 trillion dollar or 2 trillion dollars so to put that in perspective i can do no better than referring to this bbc article which they published on in 2018 when apple for the first time became uh, the 1 trillion dollar club baby um i think in 2018 and it was the first company to do so think just look at that in 2018 they became 1 trillion dollar company and they became 2 trillion dollar company into 2021 i think january or february so likewise microsoft did that after 2018 i think it was around 2019 or late 2018 and look at that they have surpassed apple's market valuation right now with 2.47 trillion dollars if somebody wants to buy india probably they can buy india uh, by just selling microsoft that's the kind of money we are talking about do you want to understand it bit more in your simple language just look at it if you were to assume that you have a 60000 annual income Sixty thousand dollars annual income. You will take not less than sixteen thousand years to reach one billion dollars. Please understand that you will take sixteen thousand years to reach one billion dollars if you don't spend any money at all. You just keep saving all the money. So sixteen thousand year. But if you were to target or aim 1 trillion dollar how much time do you require you need 16 million years 16 million years so think of it the kind of money is at stake and we are talking about and that is keeping me busy these days i have been trying to figure out what this market cap means for the world please understand there are only two companies who has market cap of over 2 billion 2 trillion dollars one is microsoft and the other one is apple the other companies which is saudi uh, aramco as well as um, amazon google and as well as some smaller other companies are close to 2 trillion but they are around 1.5 trillion 1.6 trillion around those numbers This year itself Microsoft has grown up by 45% year to date while Apple has only grown about 15% in the same period of time as we understand right now the difference is not so huge so we will see some flip flops uh, Apple will come out on top and then we will see Microsoft beating Apple again so this race will go on so the question is how did Mr Satya Nadella turned around microsoft into such a successful company in last uh, i think 8 years and the way it is uh, growing it seems like there is no stopping the company called microsoft at the moment to 
understand and to put things in perspective we need to go back in times probably a decade ago when Mr. Satya Nadella was not at the helm when we look at 2010 Q3 numbers the revenue which was primarily driven by the Windows operating system Windows operating system segment group uh, was getting around 4.2 billion dollars and it, it included the PC business OEM that means the licensing which they used to do to the ST, uh, to, to HP, IBM's or, or, or probably Dell's and all of them all the companies then the business PCs all these used to get around 4.2 billion dollars then the server and tools business um, uh, garnered around 3.58 billion dollars for the company so server and tool means windows servers uh, Visual Studio and SQL Server Server. So that uh, got Microsoft around that money. Then we had Microsoft Office, which is a cash cow for Microsoft over last many decades. Uh, it it got around 4.24 billion dollars um, for Microsoft. Uh, other than that, I think uh, uh, Xbox Entertainment and Devices was around 1.66 billion dollars. So overall. If we look at the mix and the total revenue it was around 13 billion dollars per quarter in 2010 for Microsoft when we look at Microsoft of 20, Microsoft of 2022 they have reorganized uh, their business lineup and the way they report these uh, these revenues so productivity and business processes they have clubbed a lot of um, offerings into this which includes office office 365 linkedin uh, dynamics products all the all of them get around 15 billion dollars in revenue for microsoft then we have another segment called intelligent cloud which means azure sql server windows server or visual studio so all of them has been getting around 17 billion dollars at the moment and if we look at the more personal computing side which includes windows oem xbox surface or search side they get around 13.3 billion dollars so what this means is from uh, overly relying on windows for its earning microsoft has moved slowly into cloud space as well as into the device space with surface xbox xbox was there also so windows is low in that that uh, um, that lineup now but when we look at the apple of 2010 and apple of 2021 what you will see is apple's revenue was around 15 billion dollars in app q3 2021 primarily driven by ipod music iphone ipad and macbook and you know ipod is, uh, is not, not no more in in use these days so uh, now if you look at apple of 2021 iphone they rely on iphone mac ipad variable as well as services so services is completely dependent on the iphone sales so they have a new business lineup which is services which is very profitable for them and quite a big now but it is solely dependent on the iphone sales if by some chance iphone sales goes down which is not seen which is not happening uh, at the moment for sure what we see is the services segment will go down that means the over dependence on iphone is so huge that uh, despite having such tough competition they are able to withstand that right now but would they be able to do that that is a question for some other day but what i was trying to tell you is if if the world assumed that from 2007 there was an iphone decade of 2007 to 2014-15 probably from 2013-14 we saw the emergence of cloud and when i say that you will see that from 2013 to 2014 the way market rewarded the cloud uh, participants for um, amazon um, microsoft 
as well as Google which jumped the rally little later you will see uh, it was a tremendous rally for uh, the Microsoft from 2013-14 uh, onwards. For Apple the worrying sign is uh, from 2010 onwards except the variable segment they have not been able to come out with some uh, different lineup products offerings which has really attracted lot of attention and variable is such a small segment that we cannot really call it a big disruption so what is going well for microsoft since 2014 as you have seen microsoft uh, with azure has really commanded a premium uh, in the market and because microsoft has deep connect with uh, the enterprise customers whether it you call it office customers office 365 customers a uh, lot of other tools with github now linkedin so i think they are so deeply connected with this whole ecosystem enterprise ecosystem it is difficult to imagine uh, the future without microsoft products that's for sure but beyond that if we look at the concrete items which helped uh, Microsoft become what it is today probably the topmost element goes to being uh, to, to the CEO of the company who is Mr. Satya Nadella he just transformed the company uh, I was looking at some articles how the company was having really tough time under Mr. Uh, Steve Ballmer uh, employees were seeing lot of uh, lot of politics uh, lot of pressure performance pressure uh, and that was creating a bit of anxiety in the company so that that whole uh, thing has seen a, dyna a dramatic shift uh, over last seven eight years now people are very happy satisfied and uh, mr satya nadera's connect with the markets is something amazing it seems like investors somehow uh, can't get enough enough of Mr. Satya Nadella's and his his uh, way of working. That's how the market has been rewarding Microsoft um, for past seven eight years. Then, if we talk about the organic or inorganic side, so company acquired LinkedIn. Company is also acquiring other companies. If you saw that company wanted to acquire tiktok recently so inorganic growth so that means the company is willing to grow inorganically by mergers and acquisitions that's again a thing which market likes and rewards very much and as i said microsoft is deeply connected company whether it is in the government is in the policy making it is its lobbying is quite good its overall practices are quite good uh, so the whole combination is really favoring Microsoft a big time. We need to see the, the Microsoft journey before Satya Nadella and after Satya Nadella. What's interesting is that uh, when we look at the stock market performance for past 10 years before Satya Nadella, we will see that I don't know why market used to punish Microsoft or probably the CEO at that time, Steve Palm. Please remember, 2013-14 period was the same time when cloud stormed into this the world, and that made a huge impact. To corroborate, probably you can also see how Amazon stock performed from the same time onwards, which is 2013-14 onwards. So Amazon stock has, uh, I think. Um, grown 10 times from that period while Microsoft stock has grown seven eight times since that period that reflects that that tells you how much how big was cloud journey or disruption at that moment of time what's interesting is Satya Nadella was not the person who came up with the idea of pushing cloud that idea came from none other than Mr. Steve Ballmer and we know that some of the bets Mr. Steve Ballmer made was not not did not go really well but when you look at them now in the in the hindsight the Xbox journey Mr. Steve Ballmer started the investment on the Azure side 
was done by Steve Ballmer and Mr. Satya Nadella has really accepted and considered that probably he was lucky to be working under him and um, under Mr. Steve Ballmer probably they they made the right choices at that moment of time and which is uh, reflecting now in their stock market performance. What's also interesting is that Mr. Satya Nadella took over the Azure lineup of business in 2011 before succeeding Steve Ballmer to the top. Okay, so if you look at some strange, um, what we call it, coincidence, uh, probably uh, here Satya Nadella headed the Azure lineup and became the CEO and if you look at the Andy Jesse story he became the Amazon CEO replacing Jeff Bezos but he was the head or the boss of AWS so that means these two individuals who headed their cloud journeys before commanding the top position that was the impact of the cloud they were able to make this was the fascinating uh, journey of two trillion dollar uh, babies um, Microsoft and Apple uh, I found it really fascinating what do you think of this discussion please write me down I'll come up with something interesting very soon uh, till that time do take care do take very good care of yourself and enjoy many more discussions thank you